Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be working in the Boho Journal again. Um, I thought it was time to actually start working in the journal itself rather than just making ephemera. I've got a few more things that still need to be decorated, um, you know, some of the tags from the kit in particular. But I thought, well, actually it might be quite good to start putting in some of the pockets so we know exactly what we need to make to go in the pockets. So what I've done um, off camera, I've taken all the pockets and the belly band and I've sewn around them so that they're, they've got that nice finish. Um, so I'm, I'm really quite pleased how they've how some of these have turned out. One or two I've actually done some decorating off camera. I don't think you saw this one. So I've taken one of these. Um, this is from the kit. I think they're like little labels, but I've made it into a tuck spot here and then just done a bit of decoration. It was a fairly plain um, uh, card um, pocket from the from the kit, just just with some bit of inf uh, detail on there. So I've just added a little extra to decorate that up with a bit of gold across the top just to bring it all in. Um, so that's one you hadn't seen before. This one you had. This one has been sewn around. I love this. I love this with the feather. I really must use more feathers. I've sewn around this one, or just around the outside. I've done a little bit of sewing around this one as well. Not all the way around, just on those two sides. This one I decided did not need any sewing because it was just... Um, if I was going to sew anywhere, it would have been around the bottom and that wasn't going to be possible um, with all of this. So I've, I've left that. And this one has been sewn around... This one, again, I haven't because of all the, the detail around here. I've just stuck across the, the piece of the snippet roll. Um, I may have done this one off camera as well. This was a fairly, a fairly plain, again, a very simple um, pocket. Um, so I've just stuck that across the bottom and a little label there. That's all I did for that one. This one you've seen. So this is going to be the last one I put in just because it's a more of a generic one so it could easily go into another journal if I don't need to use it which is just as well because I had a bit of trouble with my sewing machine on this one and if you can <laughs> look at the mess on the back it got, a, it got a little bit jammed and I'm not quite sure why in fact there's a bit of a long thread here so yeah I had a little bit of trouble that was the only one um, I did have to push push through the um, couple of the, ne the next two push them through the machine to keep it moving so that's that one, and again this one, I can't remember if I did this one on or off camera, but that's one, the last one. So I've got a whole bunch of pockets here, and we'll see where we can put them in here. But also, um, I think we've got some pockets already in here, look, yes we have. There's a nice, there's a really big pocket here. So what I've also got ready to go, and ready to make some things with, is my master board which will be quite useful to just cut things to size. So I'm going to need a really big journal card to go in here because it's a massive pocket. Um, and I know none of the cards I've made so far will, f will be big enough. They'll just disappear. So I do need to do a nice big one for there. And I may need to do one or two other specialised things. So that for this um, envelope, which has got a rather rough edge, but I might... I may have to just put a bit of washi tape or something along there to reinforce it, I'm not sure. But that will need quite a long, um, either a long tag or maybe just a journal card because I don't really want um, any bulkiness at the top where, where I would normally put a um, something at the top of the tag, you know, like a ribbon or something. So I might just do a long journal card for there. What else have we got? I think there don't think that's... no. Nope. And I think there might be one or two others at the back. That's a small pocket there, that'd be fine. Yes, I've got a long tag I need for this uh, flip out. That's the other envelope. And I might even put another little pocket down here, possibly. might make a little pocket to go in there. Um, but I definitely need a long tag so I need to make one to fit there because again all the tags I've got are not going to be long enough and then right at the end we have another big pocket so I need another journal card so I think that's what I'll be using the master board for today but I think to start with I'm going to put start putting some of these pockets in so 
that be too much right at the front. I quite like that there with all the colours, bringing in the colours from this beautiful Moocha lady. Aren't they gorgeous, these, um, I think they're the posters. And I think I might just put that there. Yep, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to put that there. I suppose the other possibility might be this one. Maybe. That also works. It's going to be quite bulky because of all these. They're all, all my pockets are going to be quite bulky, I think. <laughs> With all the... Um, I quite like that because you've got that bit of turquoise there which brings this in from up here. So maybe that's a better one, actually. But not look anymore, otherwise I'll probably find that they all go well there. So I'm just going to get that on now. Okay. Let's give the... Give the glue a little, little zhuzh. So I've been quite, I'm quite last, la late starting this video today. I've been, been meaning to do it pretty well all day. But I got a bit caught up with watching the Commonwealth Games. I do love these multi-event games like the Olympics. So for a lot of you, Commonwealth Games probably means nothing at all because it's only the countries in the Commonwealth that are involved. So Canada, New Zealand, New, um, Australia, all the British countries. And, and we don't, um, in Britain, the British countries don't compete as Great Britain or United Kingdom or anything like that. Every country competes separately. So we'll have an England team, a Scotland team, Wales, Northern Ireland... Even the little tiny um, islands around, like all the um, Jersey and Guernsey, they all compete individually, which is quite fun, because a lot of the time they're just part of a bigger um, GB team. But now they can all compete under their own their own flags, which is quite nice for just for something different. Um, and there's lots of little little tiny countries all that they're all part of the Commonwealth um, in, in, in the, from the Caribbean and from the in, from India from the Indian continent from the African continent so there's lots and lots of countries involved it's quite a big event it's not as big as the Olympics but it's the similar type of thing in that they've got lots of different events cycling swimming running of course athletics all types of athletics events um, and I've been watching the triathlon today which is one of the first events and that's been really exciting to watch as we won a gold and a silver in those two ladies in the men's events so that was really really fun to watch um yeah it's, 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 i really i love all these kind of things i'm not a big sports fan like i don't watch fo much football or any of those sort of things um i do like the athletics but when it comes to all the different events, yeah, I quite enjoy that because there's sometimes there's sports you don't get to see any other time. Uh, I think like gymnastics and um, I don't know all sorts of things that you just don't get to see. The cycling you don't really see cycling very much, and I really enjoy the cycling. Right, that's in. Sorry, I've been talking while I've been sticking that down. Right, let's see what's next. Let's find another. Something else to go on. That go on there. I've also got my my big snippet roll to be added here and there. My super bulky snippet roll. So I might put that along one or two of the smaller pages. Right. Let's see about putting that there okay and maybe that one on there and we've got this 
So I did really want to put a piece of that snippet on this quite heavy card because I thought, a, it's nice and strong and it won't won't be too big. Um, I just need a small piece of the snippet roll to go on there. Let that go like that. Although I think this is such a strong colour, I'm not sure it'll show up that well. Hmm, hum, 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 hum. Might be better off doing something else on here. A small pocket like that, maybe. One like that. Get more of a contrast. Yep, I think I'll do that. I'm going to do what my usual trick. I can't help myself. I don't like committing everything. I like to spread out the pockets and see how they look when they're all in before I actually stick them in. So I'm going to paper clip them in. Then I can move them around. So that's there for now. And that well that's that's gonna go on here for now fine that's it get that paper clip on so that one oh that one was gonna go there wasn't it And it gives me some idea if I've got the um, space to make any more pockets as well. Because I haven't. One of the things I haven't made, which I always do like to make normally, is a corner pocket. I haven't got any corner pockets yet, so I may still do that. And I've got the. Um, I don't know how far this master board's going to stretch with all the things I want to still make for it. But um, there we are. So we jumped a couple of pages there. Let's see. And then I can go like that. Maybe a bit of snippet roll there might be quite nice. I think it needs to stick out a bit more like that. What how would that look? Mm, not sure. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because the other thing I can do is maybe do some ruffles or some ruffle up some lace or something like that. Let that go on there. I can always turn it around so the bulkier bit, so the other side sticking out a bit more. Maybe like that would be better. Because this is quite bulky and so is, so is this. Actually, I quite like that on there. Maybe. I wonder if I can cut it across there. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Quite like that there, I think. Let's see how we go cutting this. Cutting this down. I think I'm going to cut it under the butterfly. chance of using it more than once more. I could put that there like that. Let's see how does it look? Okay, let's do it. some on the edge of the page and then some on the edge of the snippet so should 
should hold, I think. Let's wipe my pin. Okay. So I'm just sticking it so that it doesn't go beyond or um, too, you know, too far out, just up to the edge of the of the cover. So it just takes the really bulky bits slightly further outside the page, in the hope that it will block it less. Right, let's carry on putting in our pockets. At some point I want to put in a belly band, that might go quite nicely there. How far from the middle are we? Where's the middle? I've gone past it. There's the middle, okay. So either there. Quite like it there because you've got all the colours and you've got all the colours but not so bright in the background. So that might work just about there. Let's just put in a wax paper clip him in. I'll put one top and bottom, just hold it in place. So I did my best with the sewing on this one. I did. I only sewed up to about here, but I didn't want to sew over the top of the feather. So I just kind of just about took it underneath there before it started to catch the feathers down. I think that looks okay. I'm gonna try and get a few more feathers in there somehow. I love the feathers. <laughs> Right, so that's there, and then we have the middle, whether I'll put anything here, I'm not sure, it'd be quite nice, quite nice sometimes to have a corner, corner pockets in the middle, and then we've got this side, we got, could put that on, oh we're running a bit low on pockets now, Four left. How many have I put in already? I've got a bit carried away. One, two, three, four, and the belly band that makes five. Right, so it's five. Oh, and five for the back, so I suppose that's about right. And I could always. I can always do more, I can always make more. I have got a couple more pockets, but I, as they're fairly, fairly plain and generic, they're going to need quite a lot of decoration. So you can see the other two that were in the kit, they're a bit plain. So I don't know if I want to use them. They'd need quite a lot of decorating. Right, so I could put this one maybe here or there. Think. Let's have a, so we'll try with that one. Well, I've got, <coughs> got a lot of pages with not much in. <coughs> Unless I'm, yeah, I might try and put something in the middle, and then it's, it needs a bit of a gap either side. Then doesn't it? So it's that one. Let's, let's give them all a. A try maybe that one actually looks quite nice with those colors here yeah maybe that one will go there another, another paper clip and find one that's not attached all right Gorgeous picture. 
So I don't think I put anything there to distract from her. And then I've got a pocket here, and I. That's an extra pocket. So. Maybe I should put something here because otherwise we've got, we're going to run out of space. Let me think. Would that one go there? Maybe that would. This one off the loop. Uh, <laughs> I just have to feed it around until it's free. And maybe I'll put this one in at the side. Okay, like that. Then we've got a side tuck here as well if we want it. And pocket here and then we've got the big flip out here which may I may want to put another pocket in here and oh I love these big pictures really enjoying those is that gonna work maybe that'd be better here let's try that <coughs> okay, like that, and then we've got this young lady here to find a home for. Yep, I think she might be all right there. Let's see. Would this look better there? Maybe it would. Let's see. Do I prefer that there? And maybe put her here. I think I might do. I think I might like that. Oh, we've got the flowers and the flowers. Does that work? Yeah. Oh, I'll use this one. Right, so I think I think we've got enough. Well, there is one more pocket I could get in if I want to. I'm not sure I need to. I've got this one as a spare if I feel like there's a big gap. Could almost put that in. It's a side tuck. I don't think I like it that way around, really. Okay, let's. Uh, Glue a few of these in and then we'll see what we need to make with our master board. So that's done, that's glued in. And I think I'm happy with where all of these are, so I'm just going to I just wanted to make sure they were spaced out sufficiently before I committed to gluing them in. And I think they are. Give this a big squeeze. really lovely to be actually working in the journal at last. A lot of it I've forgotten what I made, you know, the little flip outs and bits and pieces. I feel like there's more things I could make, but you can only get so much in the journal, can't you? And with all these bulky, this bulky decoration that I've managed to, <laughs> to create, I'm probably a bit limited on how many things I should try and put in this without it all starting to get top heavy. Now, I wonder if that's a bit too, too close. Let's just see. Maybe if I put it not quite at the bottom, 
and in just a little bit from there. Yeah, I think that might be better. We're going to have big bulky bits right next to each other, aren't we? Maybe I should swap that for something that's not quite as bulky. There. Jeez. Mm. How would that look there? Instead, let's just let's put this in as a marker for a second. That looked better there. Just spreading out the really bulky pockets. Although, having said that, I'm going to be having all of these fancy pockets all together, aren't I? Look at that, putting that one at that end. So this is why I take this is why I paper clip them in. So when I'm actually starting to glue them in and I'm starting to put them together, I can change them around if I want to. So I could put that there. Where did we have her? Was she there? I think she was. Her there. Maybe this one near the front where it, because it's not as bulky. Um, for decoration as the other one. Maybe that would be better off there. Mm, I think that might that might be better. I'm gonna do that. I was trying to get the you know the really heavily decorated pockets a bit more spread out otherwise it just gets a bit top heavy at the front doesn't it that's just squeezing the blue as hard as I can I think I need to order a new one of these I've got to order some more glue sticks as well so I better I need some more of this. Here we are. And that's going to be a, a nice multi pocket. Multi, multi pocket pocket. <laughs> we had to get lots of things in there. Okay, and the next one. So I'll need to make something to go in here, and I need. To, I think I need to tidy up this edge a bit. And I'm going to put that there. I think. Oh. I feel like this is a bit, a bit busy. I wonder whether to put it there. Kind of there. Just to balance things out a little bit. So I don't really think that works on there. No, I think I might put her there. How does that look? Yeah, I think I'm going to put it on that side. I might put something on here and sort of decorate it a bit, tone down those really loud colours. I know the colours are pretty loud elsewhere as well, but it's just a bit too much for me. So I might just do a little bit of maybe some kind of cluster. I might have a look at the clusters I've got and see if I can put one on there just to... Um, Turn it down a little bit. We'll have to see. Let's put that that on here. I think. Uh, what have I done with the clusters? Are they here? Yes, they are. Here they are. So let's get this pocket to stick first while I have a look at my clusters. Um, that 
just disappears, doesn't it? Um, not sure. That go. What I want is the contrast, I think. I've only got one that will contrast, and it's that one. Let's see, are we glued? Oops, losing me paper clips now. Let's have a little look. What I think I need is a bit of book page behind it, that's what's missing. Right, I've got a piece of um, book page I stamped on. I don't think that's going to work. Stamp's gone right, stamping's gone right through. Um, I want something small. I mean, small, um, small text, not a small piece necessarily. A piece of dictionary page here. How would that look? dyed paper that I stamped on. I wonder if that would help as well. I need to give it the torn look though. I like the torn look. gold threads they just keep coming away and they won't come off my fingers let's have a bit of static in my hand no <laughs> just might as well just wear it why not okay so how about that yeah that's okay I, I quite like that just um softens that look a bit are you gonna come off no Right, let's do that. Let's put that on there. Just knocks it back a little bit. Um, I lost my glue book. I don't know what I've done with it. It was right behind me. All the time. So it's here. I think these little bits glue stick is perfectly adequate. Although it's it's only scribble, it's this is um, some stamped script. You can see whether it's the right way up. So if I just put that there like that, and I'm going to use, I 
think this is better for this, for the big pieces. So I just backed this, uh, the clusters onto some coffee dyed scrapbook paper that I had left over from. I think I had a um, I did a load of coffee dye and scrapbook paper when I made the travel kit, the travel journal, the medieval travel journal, if you remember, a little while ago, and I did do a lot of coffee dyeing at that point of some scrapbooking paper. I just want to catch this down. Okay, so I think that just just knocks that back a, that little bit. There's a little bit of decoration. Okay, happy with that. Let's go. It's very tactile, this. I like touching it. <laughs> okay. And actually, the back looks okay as well because I used that painted paper, so that looks quite nice on the back. Right, belly band, let's glue this on. There goes another one. I think of all the pieces, I think this is my favourite. <coughs> oh, I could have. No, I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have put a, um, a feather under that snippet or cluster, but I don't think I had anything in the right colour for that one, so forget that idea. I'd like to put something, maybe a couple of corner pockets here, we'll see. And then we'll put this here, like that there. Um, right. So I can get move on and get these all glued in and go ahead and stop cutting up the master board. I know roughly, I know I've got certain things I need to make and we'll just have to work out the sizes I need um, so we can fill those pockets, those big pockets that I, I'd forgotten I'd made. <laughs> the um, stenciling on here. I should have probably done a bit more of it I think. Probably still could but it's a bit more difficult once the book's put together. Stencil just doing the stenciling. Oh gosh. Pulling away me strands here. If I'm not careful I'll have no uh, no gold ribbon left on there will I if I keep catching the strands. I've got to have a little something to go in here too. hold down the corners. They're the bits that really need to be firmly firmly glued in. Okay. And then there's this one. Oh 
something all dodgy saying here, all, all kind of bundled up at the top here, I don't know. I have a feeling my sewing machine might need cleaning again. I didn't manage to do it once, quite surprised myself. Well, I guess I should have another go at it if I can remember what I did. slightly up from the bottom and in from the edge just so I'm not putting quite so much pressure right on the on the edge of the papers. Pull it down and then I've got possibility of tucking something behind here if I wish. I just have to remember not to make all my journal cards and, and other bits quite as bulky because I'm a bit inclined to over embellish. And then when it's time to put them in, in the pockets, they don't fit because they're too fat. So I've got to keep a few more simply decorated, I think. Because the main part of the decoration is now on the pockets. Right, so something's got to go in there. And I need to make something to go in there. I think I've all probably got something already that will go in to that pocket. But this one is so long, I'll need to make something, I think. Might just this has got a bit wrinkly here. I might put something down there. I'm not sure what at the moment. Maybe a piece of ribbon or something. Piece of washi tape. It's not looking too good. Okay. Got another piece of that snippet roll to put in somewhere too, haven't I? Have to see what where it would make sense to put that. I often like to run the glue along the sewing. Um, the stitches on the back because that will stop them unravelling should they be inclined to do so should keep them in place stop their stitches coming undone if I've glued it I'll put the glue actually on the back of the stitches sometimes I remember to do a back back and forth particularly at the end but I don't always remember to do it at the beginning you know to do the back stitch to Make sure the stitches are quite nice and secure, but I don't always remember to do it, so <clears throat> putting the glue on just keeps it keeps it from unraveling. That's that one. And then this is the last one. And again, I think I'm just going to do it on two sides. Should I? Maybe I'll do it on all three. Not sure. Always add a bit of glue on the third side of it. If I don't use it to put anything in, I have a feeling one mas one more master board <clears throat> might not be enough. I might need to make another. I don't know. There are plenty of other ways of making tags and things, aren't there? So. Okay. Right, that's the last one. Um, how much time have I got? Maybe 10 to 15 minutes just to cut up the masterboard and try and make it into 
the size of pockets that we need. Not pockets, journal cards. Right, just going to clear up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my master board and I've done a bit quick, quick, blah, big, bit, quick bit of measuring. Can't speak anymore. Um, so the, the longest piece needs to be eight inches, possibly not quite as long as that, but I thought if I cut this way at eight inches, no, turn it up that way, pull, me on, pull the arm out and cut it eight inches high, then all the other pieces I can cut to fit, cut to the right width. I might get all the three larger pieces out of this one piece then. If not, I'll have to use something else for the last one. Right. Are we straight? No, we're not. Okay, now I think we are. So that piece can be used in either direction, I think. But this is the piece I want to start with. So <clears throat> I think the tag, I'll do the tag first. The tag was the longest piece. So the tag I think needs to be three inches. That's this to go in that tall envelope. I'll cut it and then we'll see how it whether it needs a bit a bit more trimming. This is my tag. And obviously it will need a bit of decoration but that might have to be in the next video I think. Just want to get these pieces cut to size. Right so this is the tag to go in here. I will of course have to back it as well because this is on scrapbook paper. I just want to do, check the size of it first. So the width looks about right. It'll go all the way down. It's catching on something. Let's just see. I'll put my ruler down there, see what's going on. It's alright on that side. See so if I can release it. Okay, let's see if it'll go down there now. Actually, that's not a bad size at all. I think that will work fine. Okay, excellent. So I just have to just trim it at the top there and tidy it up. Just needs tidying right on the, across the top grid. Paper hasn't completely covered the scrap of paper, and then we're going to do corners. I think. Which corner shall we use? I've got a little card here that I cut different size of corners on. Maybe just do the little one, or shall I do the bigger one? Maybe the bigger one has it's such a big tag. Um, where's my scissors? There we go. And do the other side. still see the scrap of papers poking out the top. That's better. 
So I'll just back this off camera and then we'll come back and do some decorating on here in the next video, I think. So yes, yeah, so that's my tag for that one. Now I need to do a journal card from in, from in here. That side, and that side. Yeah, this side I think. So I think that needs to be, I suspect it's gonna need to be about four to five, maybe. Yeah, four and a half I think will do it. And then we'll see what we've got left to fit in the last pocket at, at the back. Right, so gotta go that way. That was it, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Four and a half. See how that fits. I probably need to trim it down a bit. Let's see. Let's put it in there and see how it how it goes. Right, so I think I need to trim this bit off at the top here. And then we'll put a nice little tab or something like that on it or a little piece of little snippet. Might better use this on something else. Perfect. So I just want to round the corners. I think all of these pieces I'm making I will also sew around. I think that will give them a nice finish. because it's got a bit of lace on it. I don't know if it'll cut that. You see? Yeah, actually it has. Good. So yeah, I like that. I'll go in there nicely. So that's that piece. Just needs a bit of finishing off. And then the last one is this one at the back. This very last pocket, which I need to cut to size. But I think I think it gets a bit. I think there's something a bit stuck here anyway, so it doesn't need to be any deeper. I don't think. Just need to trim it a bit at the bottom. I don't think it's going to fit. No. That's a bit of something coming up here. It's interesting, this little label I put, put on here when I did the uh, master board, it's got something about Morgana, a name for, and I think well, Morgana, if you know your um, Arthurian um, history, Arthurian myth, Morgana is one of the um, fairies, I suppose. She was, she was a, a sorceress in the Arthurian story, so 
Actually, that could be her. <laughs> Bit fanciful, I know. But why not? Okay, let's. I need to just check how long that needs to be. So I think it'll trim it to about. Yeah. And I'll have to put another little tab on the side of this one. Check if it fits now. How's it going to go? Oh yeah. I'm meeting a little resistance there. I just need to check what's going on. Seems to be glued about there, so maybe it's a little wide. I thought it might just fit. Hmm, should do. It's going in now. Good. Yeah, just fits nicely. So I will put a little tab on the side there. I might just mark where that needs to go. Just draw around there so that the snippet or the little my little fabric tag probably I'll use goes in the right place. So I'll just round these corners as well. And then we can call that done for today. Nope. First of all, I need to trim that top. That's better. Just tidies it up. Well, it wasn't where the um, scrapbook paper was still showing a little bit. We'll do. Just round our corners and then we'll call that done for today. I think we've done quite well though. There we are. And that's that piece. Ready to go in this back pocket here. So they're the three pieces that we will need to start with in the next video by decorating them and getting them in the pockets and then we'll see what else we need. So we've still got this piece of scrapbook um, master board which can be cut in any way but I'm going to, I know that I'm going to need a few small journal cards for some of, the, some of those multi pockets so I reckon that's what I'll use this for. Perfect. We may have we may have almost the makings of a journal here. So there we are. Thank you for joining me today and seeing me put in all my pockets. And um, please join me again for the next one and we'll take it to the next stage. Bye for now. <laughs>